Hi, this is Dark Fox127, and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, we're going to be doing something a little different, and we're going to be using a program called Test5 Edit. Now, if you haven't heard of it, then you can head over to the Skyrim Nexus and take a look. It's basically a program that lets you make a number of changes to your mod. It's very good at detecting and removing errors and fixing errors and stuff like that. So you can read the full on description. But what we're going to be using it for today is to create a patch for our mod. Now, I'm quickly going to explain what I mean by that. Uh, I want to take my mod that I've been working on recently called Corinthia Tower Reborn. And I want to take the display cases and use the meshing textures from Insanity's resource here in my mod. Unfortunately what it means is I can't actually upload these with my mod so we're going to use a patch which points towards this mod and it'll make this mod as a requirement. Now what we need Test5 Edit for is to fool the creation kit into thinking that Corinthia Tower Reborn and Insanity Sorrows ESP are actually ESMs so we can essentially place a requirement on our ESP. So it'll be pointing toward resources without us actually having to upload them ourselves. So what you want to go and do is obviously download the latest version of Test 5 Edit, which I'm going to do now anyway. Uh, I've already downloaded it, so got it there. I need to update it anyway. Just going to extract it here, grab the files, cut them, and you can pretty much place this anywhere that you want on your machine. So I'm going to put it in my program files as it makes more sense. And I'm just going to make a folder for it. What you want to do is just paste those in there. And then I'm going to pin this to my taskbar. Then all you want to do is run your Skyrim launcher at least once. I'm just going to type into the search Skyrim. You can usually find it, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim there. Let that load. Give it a few seconds and just exit it. And you do that even if you run Mod Organizer, Nexus Mod Manager, anything. Just load up the Skyrim launcher the normal old-fashioned way first. And what I'm going to do then is click on it and it should load up. Now you should see that it just shows you all of the ESMs and ESPs here. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to close that. I'm going to load up the creation kit and I'm going to show you exactly what I mean with my mod. Okay, so as you can see, I've loaded my mod here and I've got this display case where it's currently using the standard meshes and textures for the unique weaponry within the game. But as we all know, Skyrim uses a lot of the same assets and a lot of the weapons end up looking the same. So what I want is to give the user the option to install this extra ESP patch for Insanity's Unique Uniques so that it's not only going to look like insanity stuff in their inventory and in the game when they're holding it but it's also going to translate and look right in the display case now what that means is i need to actually have corinthia tower reborn as something that's getting edited so or something that's being relied upon it needs to be an esm and also insanity's esp needs to look like an esm because that needs to be a requirement as well so the patch is going to require Corinthia Tower Reborn, of course, because that's what it's been added to, and it's going to require unique uniques. Now, although I'll only be using the meshes and textures, it's very useful to actually set the ESP, if it has one, as a requirement, because then any sort of mod managers like Mod Organizer or Nexus Mod Manager are going to warn you before you load the game, telling you that you need to have this certain ESP because it's a requirement. Now if you're making a follower mod and it's going to need these armors or weapons or whatever it might be from another mod and it's using another mod's assets and it is definitely going to need it so it's not going to be an add-on, a patch like I'm doing here then all you'd have to do is basically load up Test5 Edit, click None, select the mod in this case it could be Insanity's Unit Uniques, double click it, let that load up, be quite patient some mods do take a while. Go under the ESP, file header, record flags, alt click and edit, wait for the warning, click yes, select ESM, click OK and then just close that. But just in case you might want to make a backup of the ESP, in my case I don't need to. Close that, OK. 
And then what I would have done is reload this mod, set Corinthia Tarot Reborn as active, but as you can see, it will also think that Unique Uniques is a master file and you would load that and it would be using that mod's assets without you having to actually upload them and breaking any sort of file permissions and you wouldn't need permission. You will be making uh, Insanity's Unique Uniques a requirement for your mod. Now, like I said, I'm actually going to make a patch. So what I want to do is have Corinthia Tower Reborn as an ESM as well. So I'm going to close this probably going to crash it usually does when you've got the any change for the dlcs i'm going to make a backup of my sm now a lot of people will argue that you don't need to do this because test 5 edit makes its own backup but i just like to be safe anyway what i'm going to do is load up test 5 edit click none double click corinthia tower reborn this will take a little while to load and what I'll do is I'll fool the creation kit into thinking this is also an ESP, ESM, sorry, and I will create a brand new ESP which will act as a patch. So just wait for that to load. And there we go. So I'm going to do the same again for this file edit, header, edit, yes, tick as an ESM, click OK. I'm going to close that and I'm going to load up the creation kit again and what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Corinthia Tower Reborn as a master and Unique Uniques and it should load up the parent masters on its own so you don't have to go ticking all of these and in this case, I'll be creating a brand new ESP. So I'll just load them both and let that load. Okay, so now I've got Corinthia Tower and Unique Uniques loaded as ESMs. It's essentially like these are part of the base game and I am actually kind of making a mod for my mod. So what I would do is save straight away as a new plugin. Now, as it happens, I've already gone ahead and done this previously, so what I would have done is just saved it as that, which I'm not going to do, because it would actually overwrite it as uh, completely fresh. But you would save it as a new ESP, and you're gonna wanna go ahead and make your changes. You'd save it, come out, and then you would set your ESPs back to ESPs from um, looking like ESMs. But the way that you would do this is obviously just edit the item that you wanna edit, and you would point toward that item in here. So I will go under Insanity, but as it is, I don't actually have access to the meshes and textures. So I'm going to show you a way around that. But you would go ahead and save that ESP. So if you find that the mod that you are using is packed up in BSA format and you don't have access to the loose files to actually point directly at with your mod, then this is the best way to do it. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and download a program called BSA Opt which is really useful for unpacking BSAs. And you can go ahead and install that. All the information is in the description. I've already got it installed, so I'll open that up. And you sometimes have to give it a fair bit of time to sort of read through files and such. So I'll just wait for that. Okay, so once that's loaded, you wanna go ahead and point toward the BSA that you actually need to open up. In my case, I put Unique Unique BSA on the desktop because it was easier to access. And then you want to point towards wherever you want to unpack the files. And I've just picked the sort of default location for BSA Opt. And once it's unpacked, which I've gone ahead and already done, you just hit the unpack button. You can go to that location where you've unpacked everything. Go under meshes under weapons and then you can find the weapons that you need so in this case i'm just going to use the power blade but there's a few others that have been sort of um unpacked as well like the scimitar and such so i will get the power blade i believe it's actually already in my data folder but i'll put it in my data folder anyway you just get all the files that you need place them in here put them in the right locations 
go back into the creation kit and then this is how you're going to make your patch you'll point toward wherever the armor pieces or weapon pieces are so in this case weapons pale blade first person it's going to be the static version click OK OK again now if you're using any sort of base game model then you're going to want to make a unique ID for it basically which I've already done so I'll click OK and as you can see it's now using Insanity's Pale Blade but this won't require us to include any of Insanity Sorrow's sort of uh, meshes, textures, any of his actual resources in here. And I'm going to show what that does now. I'm going to close this. I'm not going to save it because like I say, I've already done an ESP for it anyway. So I'm going to close that. Close BSA Opt. I'm going to load up Mod Organizer. You might be using something different so it'll be a bit different for you but this will show us what I mean. And I'm going to go down here and I should be able to find Corinthia Tower files I've got Corinthia Tower Reborn there but like I said the first thing I want to do is actually make sure that it's now an ESP again so the easiest way to do it is just grab the backup that you made and overwrite the one in your data folder and as you can see that's the plugin that I would have made and I'm going to find that in Mod Organizer which is there and you'll find that if I was to untick Corinthia Tower from Mod Organizer, so essentially that wasn't present, and I was also to get Insanity's Unique Uniques, and I was to untick that, essentially making it not there, you'll see that at least in Mod Organizer, I've got this little error that's showing up. And if I just hover over that, it'll tell me that the missing masters are Corinthia Tower Reborn ESP and the unit uniques should be listed under there as well somewhere if it had uh, refreshed. So basically it's going to make sure that they are actual requirements of the mod so essentially they are actually master files but they're not they're still ESPs and that is how you make a patch. So it's a little confusing but hopefully that made sense. Now the last thing that I'm actually going to do is show you exactly what I mean by it being a patch in terms of by vanilla my mod will just have the standard sort of display case and then if we use the patch it's going to add unique unique stuff on top. So let's head in game and take a look. Okay so here we are in the mod now and I have unticked the ESP for the moment the plugin file so we can see what it looks like without the unique uniques. And what I'm going to do is slowly put all of the weapons into the display case. Should start to appear. I think that's pretty much all of them. And as you can see they are just, like I said, the standard models. So I'm just going to activate the patch now and see what that looks like. And as if by magic, they've all changed. So as you can see, they've got the sort of nice new textures and meshes to them. And we've done this without actually using the meshes and textures in our own mod. So it's essentially just a, a requirement to have Insanity's Unique Uniques. But like I say, if people don't like these weapons for whatever reason, or just don't have the mod, or want to use another one, then that's absolutely fine. But of course if somebody wanted to use another weapon mod that did different models and such then I'd have to either you know make a patch for that or they'd have to go ahead and just do it themselves. But that is it, that is how you create a patch for your mod. And that is the end of this video, I know it was pretty confusing but uh, you'll get the hang of it if you kind of just follow it through slowly and uh, it's, it's really quite a useful trick to do if you do need to use a few assets of other mods for a patch like I do or even just as part of your main mod. So if you found the video useful please leave comments in the comments section below uh, help each other out a bit as well if you really need to because like I say 
bit of a confusing mess kind of thing. Uh, you can also follow my work on my website as seen on the screen now and you can check out my social media and also hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. So thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.